How is it affecting you? I know it must be difficult for you to go home every night after these. I have no life. Five and six hour uh, hospital visits. Have, you go home to an empty home. Uh, yeah, I, I have no life. I get up early in the morning. My first student is at six. I work at the gym. At the from YMCA, six. you right, work, I work your personal Auburn, trainer. Yeah, the Auburn YMCA is a personal trainer. I, I work from uh, six in the morning until noon. Then I would stop by a fast food place, grab myself a sandwich or something, and I go sit in the hospital until about 6, 7 o'clock at night. I get home at 8 o'clock, eat myself something, 10 o'clock, I'm in bed, get up the next morning and do it all over again. It's been tough. I have no life. I have no life. To work, the hospital. Work, hospital. Work, and your wrestling hospital. bookings. And my bookings, yeah. Has the drawing helped you at all? I know it calms you to some degree. Not right now because no. I have no, uh, 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 what I'm saying, no orders. Okay. So, yeah, so that's. You're available though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It do help when I get it, but I don't get that many orders, you know, but I'm not able to do anything. I hadn't watched television. I hadn't watched nothing. By the time I get home, cook myself something to eat, I look up at the clock, it's 10 or 10.30, I go to bed. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, make myself a, a, take a shower, have a protein drink, take a crack, and leave the house. And I don't see my house until 8 o'clock that night. Wow. No well, life. Tony, you've been in my thoughts, and Monika has been in my thoughts an awful lot since this happened. I was so happy that you wound up going to the appearance in Warwick, Rhode Island, when we were with Demolition, as I was worried you weren't even going to make that. Yeah. Um, I at the end of the day, is there any timeline as to when you think you may see some improvement enough to take her home? Well, all that is in the hands of, of, of the good law. You know, it's, it's, you know, I pray every night, every day, that my wife will heal and I could roll over in bed and, and uh, cut up with her like we used to, that we could sit on the porch like we used to, walk through the park like we used to, and enjoy a meal together and a night out. Like we used to. Whether I would ever have that again, I don't know. But I, by the grace of God, I was supposed to be booked in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the day of the uh, her stroke, and the show got canceled. That was and you one were show. Home. I was home. That was one show that I was glad that got canceled. And the only time that I was happy that I got canceled off the show because if I wasn't home with a stroke, the sooner time is of essence. Time of accident with a stroke. And luckily for me, it took the Amalekites less than five minutes to get to her. Good. I was staying on the phone with the uh, 911 dispatch when the Amalekites pulled up. And what happened? Did she start to feel sick or? Nothing. No. I asked what her, made you call 911? I, I do all the cooking. Mm -hmm. So I asked my wife, I said, honey, you want Rena Snitcher or chicken tonight? Or baked chicken? She said, but well, take out. The, the poke chop and make rena snitcher. Rena snitcher is a German dish where you take poke chop, cut it off the bone, and beat it until the meat is completely uh, flat. Flat. And then you roll it in an uh, egg, egg, uh, egg wash, and then roll it in flour, and you deep fry it. And then I make the potato dumplings to go with it. And uh, she says she wanted her rena snitchers tonight. And I said, what you want go with it? She said, I go, what? And I turned. She was going to the ground. She fell over. I tried, to, I tried to catch her before she hit the ground, but I wasn't that fast. Then right away, I saw her face drooping. So then I grabbed uh, my cell phone, and I called 911 right then and there. So if you ever have, see a person that's, that's getting dizzy or their face started to droop, call 911. And the quicker you get, get them some attention, the brother day, I think you got a, a three hour period to save their life. If nobody get to them within uh, an hour, but the longer it takes to get to that person, the longer it would, it would take for that person to be saved. So I, all y'all all that got mothers and grandmothers, you know, and got problem with your mom, think about you coming home one day, your mom laying in the floor or you your don't grandma want that. laying in the floor. And then all the mean things you said to them, all the bad things you thought about them, all the time that you didn't listen to them, you're going you're gonna to hate yourself. You talk about hate, you're going to hate yourself. So love, you know, 
as we get older, you know, our time here on this earth is much, much shorter as, as we age, you know. We don't, I don't have the time here that I had 30, 40 years ago. Right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm closer to 100 than I am to one. And, and uh, it, it hurt. I mean, it really, really, really hurt. You miss having bad. her home every day. Yeah, yeah, I, I hurt. And then, and then the kid, uh, to me, her daughter is a low life. Mm -hmm. She flew here from Hawaii. Took she all lives my in wife, Hawaii. Yeah, took all of my wife valuables back in your to home. Hawaii. Yeah, went, I let her stay in my house so she saved money on hotels. She mm -hmm. was, you know, took all my wife valuables. It told me that my wife told her to do it, which I know my wife talks in and out of reality. One day she would tell me she went to New York. I said, New York? Where are you going to New York for? You know, because I knew she didn't go to no New York. She can't even make it to the bathroom. How's she going to go to New York? Right. But she literally took my daughter, but she said she didn't want to see me no more because she probably was talking about some incident that happened 10 years ago. Right. And she tried to get me barred from the house, but so for Monique two days. Monique or the Monique's daughter? Her daughter tried to get me barred from the house, but And then she, and I, I asked her, and I said, who's going to rub her shoulders when her a, a, a neck hurt? Who's going to massage her feet? Who's going to massage her hand? Who's going to keep her company? Well, I got people that were going to come in and take care of her. And I said, are you nuts? What is wrong with you? So she went and said that I'm being rude and, and when it got, to me, got me kicked out. So I stayed there till the police came. The police came and escorted you from the hospital? Yeah, yeah. Re and, and how so, did that go? And, but I kept going back. Finally, the, the, the police, the, one of the police but talked to the nurses and said, this man need to be here with his wife. Mm -hmm. Y'all should not let this girl, and then, the, and then she went back to Hawaii. She left? Yeah, she was only there for a week. No help. Yeah. Yeah, but see, what it is, she always hated our relationship. Uh, how that, that started, that's why I said bury them hatches. How it started is that uh, <clears throat> my wife, Monica, used to work at Clover Manor, which is a nursing home. And she didn't have a car then. She mm -hmm. made $120 a week. She walked to work every day in the snow. The, it, four miles to work, four miles back. She did it every day. Mm -hmm. I measured the district, four miles each way. Did it every day. Used to come home dead tired. Now, her daughter got four kids by four different men. So you know oh. what type of woman she is. Okay, a three-input woman. The, right, right, yeah. right. She had her first kid, which about, got pregnant, which was about 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Never listened to her mom. Loud and abusive to her mom. So she used to bring the kids, the grandkids over, and give them to my wife to babysit after she got off of work. Then she'd go out with her boyfriend partying. One day she knocked on that door. I told my wife, I said, you go in there, you lay down. She said, well, Malenka want me to babysit. I said, you go over there and lay down. I said, I, I handle this. She said, oh, thank you, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. She, and as soon as her head hit that pillow, she fell out like a light. She was That's, asleep. She was asleep before, before her head hit the pillow. She was falling asleep, laying, going to the bed. I was scared she was going to hit her head. She went down on that bed so quick. The daughter knocked on the door. <clears throat> I answered it. And I said, your mom's asleep now. Well, wake up because um, I, I bring her, she, uh, uh, so she see her grandkid. I said, she know what they look like. <laughs> she said, yep. Yeah. But that's my mom, and then she's got to fuss at me. I shut the door in her face. Did you? She came back about 30 minutes later. I said, your mom's still asleep. I said, I told your mom I'm going to make sure she get at least two hours sleep before y'all bother her. Well, I got things to do. I said, well, go do them. <laughs> <laughs> but your mom is not going to be running around. But these are her grandkids. That's my mom, and you got nothing to do with blah, 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 blah. She offended you. When, if, I don't care what she do to me. It wasn't about me. It was about Monica. I saw a woman that could barely walk being asked to, to babysit a kid with a fat, ugly bra that laying on her fat ass all day long, eating freaking junk food, you know, and screwing all day with her boyfriend, and now they want to go out and they want to dump the kids off their grandma. That's the only reason they did it. No other reason. 
taking advantage of the of the woman kindness, kindness, kindness and yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, using love. She, yeah, yeah, and, and her love because she loved her daughter deeply. She loved her grandkids deeply. You know, so I was her. She always called me her protector because yeah. I protect her from the abuse that she was taking from her daughter and how most kids treat their parents. Right. You know, and I was outside, and I didn't have much say so, but I had to step up. One day, my wife came home, went shopping to get her hundred twenty dollars for that week. It was back in Nanny, in the Nannies, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, she told me she said we went and got some groceries, and she said, "Oh, great! I'm glad you helped me out with the groceries. I gave her money for groceries mm -hmm. that she didn't have to pay." She said, "I got twenty dollars for bus fare. I don't have to walk this week." Here come the dollar. Mom, you got any money? She said, all I got is $20. Oh, well, that's enough. Took her mother last $20. Monica went to go to bed. I said, Monica, before you lay down, come here, let me show you something. So we walk over to the window. Right across the street from where we used to live at, the apartment we used to live in, was a place called No Tomato. It was a restaurant mm -hmm. and a bar. We looked out the window. There she go with her boyfriend. To the bar. So they went to the bar with Monica's bus money. She got her her social, uh, what do you call it, uh, income tax check, mm -hmm. right? Was 500 some dollars. They went out and spent that money, partying, you know, mm -hmm. and then came and took the mother, mother uh, birthday money, I mean, our, our bus fare. The World Wrestling Federation was live at Brown County Arena in Green Bay, Wisconsin, Monday, May the 9th, 1988. In the opening contest, Jose Luis Rivera beat Barry Horowitz. Steve Lombardi with the win over Brady Boone. Bam Bam Bigelow defeated One Man Gang. Dino Bravo victorious over Ken Patera. Bret Hart beat Bad News Brown. Strike Force with the win over WWF Tag Team Champions Demolition via disqualification. And in the main event, WWF World Champion Macho Man Randy Savage retained the title over the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase. If you were in Green Bay Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Inside Us Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.